On the day the Sebeganegadi First Nation was celebrating the return of seized lobster traps from the Department of Fisheries and Oceans, the minister also delivered a blow. Mi'kmaq fishers will have to fish within a regulated commercial season if they want to legally catch and sell lobster. We're a treaty-based fishery and those treaties have not changed. We're going to continue to fish those treaties. Moderate livelihood fishing tanks. Chief Mike Zach has been the face of the fight since his community launched what's known as a moderate livelihood fishery last fall. Band members have been fishing out of season, insisting they have a treaty right to do so that was upheld by the Supreme Court of Canada more than two decades ago. It led to violence with non-Indigenous commercial fishers who have maintained they're concerned about conservation of the lobster stocks. Sack says his people can't fish within the season because it takes place in the winter and their boats aren't big enough. You could literally fit four of our boats on one of their boats, so it's just apples and oranges. The Mi'kmaq say the decision has been made without adequate consultation. The fisheries minister says this is about implementing their right to fish, but that the Supreme Court decision also says treaty rights are subject to regulation as long as it can be justified. It's extremely important for conservation reasons to make sure that the moderate livelihood fishery also takes part place during a season when uh, lobsters are, are replenished. Commercial fishers say enforcement will be key. I think there's still a lot of work to be done to satisfy the rights of Indigenous people and also to protect the, the fishery for all of us. The minister says DFO officers will be out on the water to stop illegal fishing. Chief Sack says he'll support his people in court if he has to, but hopes it doesn't come to that. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Halifax.